Hello everyone, welcome to episode 70 of this awesome, amazing Osu Let's Play series. In the last episode, I talked about confidence and how important of a role I think that has on your gameplay sort of in general. And in this episode, I want to talk about marathons and song compilations. I think it is a pretty unique type of map in the world of Osu, so I wanted to make a video talking about them. And before I get into that, as usual, I'd like to shout out that I live stream every single day over at twitch.tv. So if you would like to stop by, say hello, watch me play this game live, or I don't know, anything like that, ask me questions, or just, you know, hang out with me in, in real time, oh my gosh, instead of just YouTube, <laughs> uh, please, please stop by. Yes, and also bonus points. If you tell me that you came from this Let's Play series, we'll be very, very happy to see you all there. So, oh okay, yeah, one thing I want to show you guys before I get into the actual episode. So the menu cursor on Osu Laser, so if you like hold down your click button, you can actually sort of drag it around. And then when you let go, it like spins like in the other direction. And then you can actually like wind it up like a lot. And then when you let go, it like, oh, oh. yeah, just, just had to show that to you guys. Okay, anyway. <laughs> So this is the marathon that I'm going to be playing at the start. So this is actually a songs compilation. This is like, I think the OG songs compilation that I feel like, um, if you don't know this map, then I, th I think you sort of show this. I feel like it's sort of a cultural icon in the world of Ozu. Well, okay, it definitely wasn't the first songs comp but compilation, but definitely was a very popular one. Um, see, it's from eight years ago, 2013, and has almost 1.5K favorites. So yeah, it's got a lot going for it. And, uh, See, I'm actually going to play this with double time, partly because it's very long, <laughs> also partly because it is relatively low starting. I think a lot of people know it as a double time map. Actually, this map was like my longest combo for a while. Um, so one thing about songs compilations in particular, so typically the storyboard, oh shoot, typically the storyboard has like information about the map. So I'm actually going to turn the background up a little more just to show you what I'm talking about. Oh wait, why is it so quiet? What? Uh oh. Um, 30, 37. Okay, okay. Nice number. So. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I didn't actually know this. So the storyboard does not get blurred, even if you have background blur up. Which I, okay, obviously makes sense, but I didn't really realize that that would be the case. But you can actually see the blurred background behind the storyboard. The storyboard seems like it's actually a square, apparently. But. Oh, oh shoot. Uh, how do I change the background dim? Can I can I change it like this? It's actually kind of okay. Yeah, let's go. It's kind of bright. I can't really. I'm not that good at this game, <laughs> especially while talking. But anyway, uh, there's like a strategy to like playing with the storyboard on, which is like I don't know. It's it's kind of like you don't really get to focus on the storyboard. I feel like you you just have to like focus super hard on the actual notes, but. Anyway, on the topic of songs compilations, so uh, yeah, typically so the storyboard would have information on like the current song that's playing. I think it's common to have the BPM of that song as well as is, you know, right there. And then in the break it changes and sometimes the background changes as well. So I think a marathon is defined as anything that's five minutes or longer. So. In the ranking criteria for beat maps, it okay. So let's talk about how what used to be the case is if your map was long enough, then okay. Actually, how should I describe this? So you are required to okay. It used to be the case that you're required to make multiple difficulties, you know, like an easy difficulty or a hard difficulty or whatever, um, and just to sort of it's called, what's called a full spread. So you know, have a nice spread of difficulties like you know easy, normal, hard, insane, and then maybe like extra or expert, and then like you know whatever crazy difficulty names people use these days. But basically, if your map was too long, or like if your map was long enough, then that wouldn't really be a requirement, and you can just make one difficulty and rank it. And the cutoff for that was so actually originally I think it was six minutes, and then it got moved down to five. So basically, like five minutes flat was the sort of cutoff for marathons to where like the mapper did not need to make multiple difficulties. And it's kind of a drag sometimes to <laughs> make so many difficulties, especially for such a long map. So it's such a long song. So 
people used to really like i don't know try to shoot for like let's say the song was like four minutes and 59 seconds then they would try to like put a spinner like at the very end or something like that to drag it on like one second longer like even past the song ending uh it would fly sometimes but like yeah i i'm pretty sure since then the ranking system has the ranking criteria has become a bit more lenient oh this is the preview point oh my gosh the song is the actual background of the map dude the song's completion is okay i'll talk about song stomps in a little bit but uh yeah just to finish my thought on marathons so we think yeah so these days it's a little more lenient i think depending on how long the song is so like it used to be the case like if your map was like four minutes and 59 seconds then you had to make out entirely full spread of difficulties i'm pretty sure and these days it's much more lenient but yeah if you're really interested in the nitty-gritty of that stuff then you can definitely look into the ranking criteria yourself but uh songs compilations so uh, they actually have an interesting history so this songs compilation for example is just a bunch of different songs by the artist senya and that's largely what songs compilations were for a long time uh, and they, they still are usually it's like um songs like i don't know like the highlights of many different songs of the same artist or like you know same you know very similar songs i guess and uh, <laughs> this all changed i don't remember what year was it 2018 2019 when the one that stands out to me is when sotarx made a songs compilation but he named it like <laughs> he named it like pp compilation or something like that and he submitted it as a joke but then he changed the song title to songs compilation and then he tried ranking it <laughs> and everyone was like what what is sotarx doing but I'm pretty sure there was like some drama about it because it was like oh because it was literally just like random songs that like the only connection that they had with each other was that they were all like popular farm maps or like farm songs and so Sotox just like made a farm map that was just like a songs compilation of all of those and they were just like all like pp farm patterns <laughs> so I think there was something with the ranking criteria where like they would disallow what is it? They would disallow songs compilations if like the songs were like not directly related by like artists or a source or something like that. So I'm pretty sure I don't think that's even still a thing. I think it was like, a thing for a little bit, but yeah, these days there's a couple like I guess farm songs compilations out there. Oh shoot, what okay, don't blink while you play this game apparently. <laughs> there's also what's called Osu Memories which is basically a songs compilation of songs where like instead of all being the same artist or source or whatever the thing that they have in common is that they're all just like really popular Uzi songs and it's sort of supposed to be a collage of many different popular or notable songs from Uzi. obviously hence the name Uzi memories right but i think songs comps are actually they're kind of cool for like discovering certain songs as well or like it's, I don't know, it's kind of like a um, sample platter of, like, that artist, I don't know. Instead of, like, playing through every single map of, uh, like, all the different songs. I don't know, that, that's sort of how I see it. They're also very, like, I don't know, obviously they're very long. They're typically, like, around 10 minutes on average. Um, at least, I think, yeah. They're a fairly large standard deviation, but, um, yeah, there's some that are, like, 20 minutes or even 30 minutes, but... I think the most iconic one is, um, the... Um, the Unforgiving, which is uh, Within Temptation. I think it's a full album or something like that, or like half the album or something like that. It's like an hour long. Um, I think you might know it as the map that GN got a 1000 PP score with Flashlight way back when. I guess, I don't know, actually it wasn't that long ago, but um, maybe you're watching this in the far, far future, but anyway. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Stream? Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, so what I was going to say, so since these maps are very long, they are very friendly for gaining score <laughs> in score v1, because score is multiplicative by your combo, right? So, like, if a map is, like, 3,000 combo long, then that is a lot of score, and um, certain certain Momo would be very happy about that, <laughs> the uh, rank 1 score player at the moment, but, um, yeah, score! Oh, when you see it, 37, let's go. So aesthetic. Like, here's the thing about 37 guys okay so admittedly there's nothing significant about this number it's just the fact that 
like it is perceived as such a random number and yet if you were to look out for it you will start noticing it everywhere and yeah that, that's 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 the 37 i guess lore so to speak but yes let's go yeah you can see all these hidden double time scores crazy so the leaderboards right now on usu laser they all show basically a converted score from score v1 and they have the classic mod um put on top of them which the classic mod is basically it brings back all of the like characteristics of the usu stable client such as what is it like no slider accuracy and old note lock let me actually pull this up turn on the classic mod and then customize um no slider head movement oh oh that's right oh wait okay that's something i've started to realize about osu laser that like sliders feel kind of different on osu laser and i think what it is is like if you start the slider late then like the hit box of the slider head actually starts moving so like if you're coming to the slider late you have to hit where the slider has moved to rather than like the actual starting point of the original slider um which i think the, the little flavor text here hopefully describes that as well but let's see yeah so this is all the stuff that i guess has changed from the osu stable client to osu laser the big one is probably slider accuracy and no lock but um Regarding score, though, I think it's definitely just the slider accuracy that makes a really big difference in, like, it makes it very hard to translate the scores also from, like, OSU stable to OSU laser, and then, like, how should the leaderboards be preserved, and, like, how can we maintain, like, competitive integrity of, like, these really old scores that didn't have slider accuracy, like, is an SS worth the same on stable versus laser when there's slider accuracy to be taken into consideration, but anyway... Let's see. So, uh, typically, if you want to look for a marathon in your song list, what I would usually do is type uh, length over 300. And, uh, oh my god, anger for double time. That, that's not supposed to happen. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and, yeah, this... So, 300... Is, okay, so the length filter is in seconds. So, 300 seconds is 5 minutes exactly. So... Typically, I'm pretty sure, like, if you could even do, like, 280 or something. These maps are also basically marathons, but you have stuff like this that... Let's see. It's not... You wouldn't consider it a marathon. I think a marathon is actually kind of characterized by only having one difficulty. And the word marathon is just what's used in the ranking criteria as well. Let's see, there was one I wanted to play. Um, What is it called? Oh, Lies in Reality. Okay. Yes, let's play this map. This song is so good. So, I want to talk a bit about marathons and, I guess, consistency training. I think a lot of people probably... Oh, actually, one thing I want to do... I have this habit. Hold on. I have this habit of whenever I want to go to the options, I, like, go back to the menu. But on Osu Laser, you can just do it, like... In the pause menu okay yeah let's change this back to what it used to be my background dim so yeah there's this idea of playing long maps will help with consistency and especially if you don't retry them and i think there is some merit to that basically what when people advise that it's usually be like i don't know under the sort of idea that you want to play as many like unique patterns as possible and uh, I guess also if a map is longer then you know in theory it takes more consistency to play it or like I don't know, get a full combo right because you can fc a one minute map one in ten times and you, you'll still be able to get an fc but then if there's a 10 minute map you're gonna have to be fcing for i don't know 10 times as long obviously so i think yeah and also you get exposed to many more unique patterns or like if you play a one minute map 10 times it's the same one minute of patterns that you're playing 10 times over as opposed to a marathon map where it's just a yeah i don't know the, the whole map is unique ideally hopefully but yeah and i sort of talked about that as well in uc phd i'm pretty sure i touched on how especially in that section on greeting i'm pretty sure and consistency i think but basically you want to expose yourself to many different kinds of patterns 
to, I guess, is it? I don't know, to have a wider library of patterns that you have practiced playing so that you can be even more consistent on many, many different kinds of patterns. Just as a review of OCPHD though, I would definitely say that consistency really comes down to having a solid grasp of your fundamentals. Actually, there's this sort of idea that I think is worth sharing that like fundamentals and skill cap sort of work together in this game similarly to like using chopsticks, I feel like. Like one chopstick is it's like the chopstick on the bottom that like doesn't move, right? That one is your fundamentals. And then like the top one is your skill cap. Basically, chopsticks don't really work with only like one of them, right? Like you need two. Um, and they, they sort of work together for any map that you play. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that that's where the analogy ends, but <laughs> I think my, my point is just like, like, I don't know, the fundamentals are there to like keep you like stabilized. And then <laughs> you know, the, the skill cap chopstick is the one that actually, I don't know, skill expression, right, of, of chopstick use. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see. I Yeah, ultimately, I do think there's some merit to playing through long maps and not retrying in order to expose yourself to many different kinds of patterns and ultimately, I think, improve consistency, things like that. But I don't think it's necessary to play marathons. I think, okay, honestly, one thing, though, is that, like, marathons usually are just, like, I don't know, they're a lot more relaxing, I feel like, to just kind of sit through. Because, okay, usually the songs are really good too, I don't know. Like, having a really long song just... Or, how should I wear this? Okay, having a very short song, like, doesn't give you enough time to like really get into it, you know? <laughs> I don't know how to put it. But, yeah, definitely marathons. Like, if you're afraid of playing marathon maps, like, I know some people are like, oh, Whenever I play really long maps, like my grip just like falls apart. I can't play long maps, or like I don't have the stamina for long maps. That is fair and valid. And I do think that practicing long maps does help with that. So I hmm, let me think of how to put this. You're Okay, so if you're like running out of stamina for a lot of different or if you're running out of stamina on long maps. There's probably something you can change about your grip or I guess your style in general to, I don't know, conserve more stamina or like make sure your pen doesn't slip. Because I remember I had a friend who I used to, I don't know, like one of the first friends that I played Osu with and they would always say like, they would rather like retry a one minute map 10 times, right? Then play a 10 minute map. And I'm like, isn't it? the same amount of playing and they're like no 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 because like you can adjust your pen like in between retries but you can't really do that in a 10 minute map unless it's so usually songs compilations have a lot of breaks in the map because there's like a little pause between each song except actually i'm pretty sure like osu memories for example it just kind of blends all the songs together and like yeah but anyway anyway i definitely think if you want to practice like a new grip and you're trying to work on a grip that doesn't slip as much, then practicing that on marathons is going to be really helpful. And also practicing on marathons, I think helps a lot with, what is it? Like, it, I guess it forces you to find ways to make your pen not slip also, right? Like, if you want to start getting really good at marathons, but your pen keeps slipping, then, okay, actually, I don't know. If you have a problem with pen slipping, but you only ever play like one minute long maps, then it doesn't really matter. But if you really want to like sort of be forced to work on that, then you can probably, I don't know, it's probably going to be helpful to just play a bunch of marathons because then you're going to have no choice but to try working on your pen grip in a way that makes it not slip. Which by the way, a very, very common fix for pen slipping is to buy tennis grip or grip tape and just put it around your pen. I think that is like a quick fix. It, honestly, tennis grip is really cheap. So if you've been frustrated about pen slip, then definitely give it a try. But let's see, also similar, let's see, in a similar vein, I think easy mod is recommended for training like pattern processing and chunking and things like that because similarly to what I mentioned about how marathons sort of 
force you to get better at like keeping your pen stable without slipping. Easy mod sort of forces you to get better at chunking or like basically like grouping patterns into like smaller and more easily digestible sections. But so anyway, that is pretty much all I wanted to cover in this episode. But let's see, let's spin the cursor while I do my little outro. But if you guys have suggestions for future topics, please, please leave them in the comments because I do read all the comments on these videos. And uh, let's see, check out my YouTube channel also because I upload every single day and there are many, many videos for you to explore. So definitely check out the other videos in uh, on my channel, right? And speaking of channel, Twitch channel, where I am live every single day. So try to catch me live. I do tend to announce my stream schedules over on Discord or YouTube community, community posts. So look out for those as well. But uh, with that, let go of my mouse. Ooh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it even spins backwards. Oh my god. That, yeah, that was worth it. That was so good. All right. See you guys next time.